Hola mi gente, welcome back to my channel, this is Queen Sugar. So today we have a viewer requested reading, which is about how your life is going to be in the next two years. And so I am really excited to do this reading. Um, Spirit gave me the blessing to do it, and so today I did it. And I'm really excited to share this reading with you all, and for everyone to see kind of the things that are going to happen in their life within the next two years. So take a moment to kind of clear your mind, clear your energy, and to focus on your breathing. So take a few deep breaths in. And then take a few deep breaths out. Once you have finished your breathing exercise, feel free to allow spirit to guide you to the door or doors that best connect with the messages that they have for you at this time. Our first door is the blue door. Our second door is the purple door. And our third door is the green door. Once you have decided on which door or doors, feel free to click that timestamp below to watch your portion of the video. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and leave a comment below. And I also recommended this at the end of each reading, but to save this video just to see um, what things you accomplish or achieve and manifest in the next two years. And remember that time is fluid and some of this stuff can happen before two years, you know, but it's all about these are the things from the day that you watch this video up into two years are going to be the things that you manifest. OK, so once you have decided what you would like to um, check out, feel free to watch that video, the portion of that video to enjoy your messages. This will be for those that selected the blue door. So let's see what your life is going to look like in the next two years. We're going to start off with the cards that I've already pulled. And towards the end, I'll pull additional cards if there's any other messages that we might need. Number 34, door to personal healing and happiness. Number 52, goddess of the moon. Number 11, cornucopia. The fifth chakra which is the throat chakra, the ace of wands, passion ignited, the two of cups, spiritual union, and then finally, number 14, patience, which is temperance. All right. So what I'm getting for you in the next two years, within the next two years, this uh, reading is giving me the vibe that you have done a lot of healing and you will continue to do a lot of healing within the next two years. I get that as you continue to heal, you continue to open those doors to happiness and prosperity and abundance with this cornucopia card here. I'm getting, you're gonna change, you're gonna have like a career change, like a um, career transition, and it's gonna um, lead you to more income. It's gonna lead you to better benefits. I get also, you have been healing your divine feminine energy, regardless if you are divine masculine or divine feminine. Divine feminine energy is being healed here, especially for the divine feminines. And so you're really stepping into your divine, um, you know, feminine energy, but your goddess energy as well, because the divine feminine is connected to the moon. And so you're now using your energy to manifest the things that you deserve and using your gifts and your powers to do that as well and to heal yourself and others. I get... Um, Romantically, you will be in a partnership that is based on strong communication, um, love and passion. And also it's like a spiritual connection as well. It is something that is balanced. And, you know, you've been waiting for this for a while and you planted that seed to the, to the universe. And now the universe is finally gifting you that thing, gifting you that relationship. I also get that some of you might end up moving within the next two years. You're probably going to move to the place that you've been wanting to move for a very, very long time. Um, for a small portion of you, it is somewhere where you're literally surrounded by water. Another portion of you will be moving to like a, um, kind of like a, I don't want to, I don't want to say a big city, but a little bit bigger than what you're used to. Um, at those, for those that have come from like a small town or like a rural area. I also get, um, overall your health will improve, um, continue to eat healthy, some of you might transition to being like vegans or vegetarians. Like if you've been kind of like going back and forth, like if that's something you want to do, I get that the people that have been thinking about that, you're going to finally commit to it and become a vegan, become a vegetarian. Um, maybe like a couple of you will become a pescatarian, but majority of you that have been thinking about this will be a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, 
I'm getting some of you will be more interested in like going to parks and like doing things outdoors, nature. Also connecting with like your your ancestors that were like root root workers as well for a small portion of you. Let's see what other messages we have for your life in the next two years. We want to come out. Let's see what we got. We have. The Ace of Swords and then the King of Cups. Beautiful. And so these two cards represent obviously mental clarity, um, communication, kind of cutting through the BS. And then the King of Cups is someone that is balanced in their emotions. They are um, mature. They are um, emotionally stable, obviously. And they're a good communicator because they know how to express what they want and how they feel. Um, and kind of kind of that goes with that water thing too. how I said some of you will be moving near water where you're surrounded by water So your partner could be a water sign or you could be a water sign But I get that There is stability here when it comes to your connection Romantically, but also in your personal life with like your work relationships and your, your relationship with yourself and your ancestors I'm getting also with the ace of swords being here that your ancestors are saying within the next two years um, Your pathway is being cleared, you know there's not a lot of debris and BS that's in the way that's kind of clouding your energy anymore because as you heal, you're able to kind of weed that stuff out on your own and you can do it instantly, you know? Um, sometimes people can pick up vibes. I, I'm a person, I can pick up vibes within a few seconds. Some people pick up vibes years later. You're gonna be a person that's gonna be able to pick up those vibes within seconds or minutes and that's gonna help you kind of like um, clear your path and really, you know, be free of any BS and anything that doesn't serve your higher purpose or, um, you know, put you in a direction of light, you know. Um, I'm also getting that some of you may be receiving um, opportunities where you can speak, you know, whether that be at a seminar, an event, um, hosting an event. There's something with your voices being used in the next uh, two years in some way. It could also be writing as well. I get that there are a few of you that need to um, work on your craft now. That way, in the next two years, you can manifest the abundance of that that hard work so if you've been working on a book it could be about poetry it could be um, about love it could be about healing whatever your book topic is about you have to start working on it now and planting that seed and putting that work and energy and action into it in order to manifest this cornucopia for it especially if you're looking for that book to be very successful and for you to um you know be known for it I get literally for like two people, some of you are going to go into real estate and you've been waiting for that. So you're going to pass like your courses, you're going to get your real estate license and you're going to be able to um, sell homes as well. OK, um, so, yeah, this is what I have for you for the next two years. Um, this is just like a short snippet of it. Obviously, there will probably be a lot more happening, but this is these are the main things that they wanted me to point out for you all. So I hope that this reading kind of resonated with you and I think it will be great for you to like save this video. If you have like a playlist or something or take notes of the things that was mentioned here and like your phone or like in a notebook that you look at it often and just see how things, you know, progress in these next two years. You might forget about it or you might remember it. But this is sometimes fun to do that way you can see what parts resonated in your life and actually showed up in your life. And um, like these things can happen within the next like three to six months for all we know, you know, so be mindful of that and just pay attention to the things that you manifest and know that you're able to manifest these things. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. I wish you all the best and remember blessings and abundance, peace, love, and light. Okay. So this will be for those that selected the purple door. So let's see what your life is going to look like in the next two years. So we're going to start off with the cards that I've already pulled. And then at the end, I'll pull additional cards to get any other messages. So we have number 39, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is your third chakra. We have number 27, walking away. We have number 23, all tied up. We have the four of cups, which is discontent and boredom. We have the high priestess, number two, intuition. We have the fourth chakra, which is your heart chakra. And then we have the Six of Cups, Memories of Love. Okay, so I am getting that within the next two years, some of you will be walking away from a, a position that is pretty, um, if it makes you feel stagnant. I get that a lot of this walking away 
comes from the idea that you're just not happy at this job that you have or um, that you might end up having. And you're going to walk away from it because you just feel like there's too many restrictions. You're not able to speak up. You're not able to do what you love. And it's not what you love, you know. And so I get that you're finally going to break free from that because you're just not happy with it. You're pretty bored with it. Um, It doesn't allow you to use your intelligence, uh, use your intelligence, use your skill sets in a way that will help a lot of other people, you know, outside of the, the organization or outside of the people that you're working with. I'm also getting that some of you may walk away in in a relationship with someone that you've been trying to end for a while or you start to see that this is a relationship that needs to be, um, you know, needs to be cut, needs to be cut off. This person needs to be cut off because you might be kind of trapped mentally and energetically with this person. And so I get that it could be a karmic and you're finally getting out of it. You're finally freeing yourself from it. I'm also getting some of you have been wanting to cut the cord and cut the roots between someone and you're actually going to be able to do that. And it doesn't mean that it's going to take two years to do that. It's just saying within these next two years from today that you watch this video, these are things that are going to be happening for you. With the throat chakra being here, I get that this is saying you're finally going to be able to open this chakra and keep it balanced for a very long time. You're able to use your voice. You're making change. Um, people listen to you because they feel like you have powerful things to say and they want to be a part of that that um, moment with you. I get with your love life that you're able to manifest um a solid connection here. It could be with a past life soulmate or it could be with an old friend that you or an ex, someone you haven't um, talked to in a little bit or you could um, reconcile with someone, like I said, like an ex and things move into a positive, better direction. And it can obviously be someone brand new that you never met in the physical just yet. But I get with the heart chakra and the memories of love here that this energy is representing a high quality um, connection and love. And so it's a healthy, it's balanced. Um, you're a high priestess, so you're able to kind of weed out the ones that aren't the one for you, but also see who is the right one, who is the right um, partner for you. I get that this person will be someone that knows how to speak up for themselves and express themselves and communicate what they're feeling and their interest in you. You won't have to go through this like mind mental games or where you're like, I don't know if this person likes me. I don't know if they want to talk to me. Nope, you don't have to experience that anymore. It's more so this person's going to be very giving, very um, generous to you. I get that they're chivalrous. Um, they could be a water sign. Or have a lot of water in their chart. Um, I get that they just represent light and they balance. Um, they're very balanced themselves. And so you two balance each other out very nicely. I get that this connection will be fun and be very um, passionate. There's a lot of um, intelligence between you two that you two share. So you two have that mental connection. And that could be one of your things that kind of like you that turns you on because you like intellectual conversations. And I get that with this particular person. Um, I also get that some of you might be going back to school within the next two years, getting your um, your degree. So whether it be your bachelor's degree, your master's or your doctorate of some sort, or even just like getting a degree to, um, you know, do something. So whether it be like a real estate degree or, you know, um, Reiki healing um, license or like certificate. That is something that some of you will be doing as well. Um, what else do we have for you for the next two years? Let's get some more cards to see if there's anything else. I get that some of you might be moving too. I don't know if I said that earlier or not, but yeah, somebody's moving. The hang one. So look at that. This person is tied up and then in the all tied up car, obviously the person in there is tied up. You're breaking free from something like you've been tied from it for a while. And so you're really getting out of these situations and you might be also, you know, releasing old thought patterns and behaviors and getting rid of it because it's, it, it held you back for many, many years. And now you're breaking free from them. And, um, you know, exploring the things out there that you weren't you once weren't able to do because you you were holding yourself back or something was holding you back. What else for you in the next two years? Um, actually. So it was the Knight of Pentacles that we got. And the Knight of Pentacles is someone that puts that effort in. They take some time to do so. But the reason why is because they build on a solid foundation, right? That's why the King of Pentacles is so sturdy. That's why he's reliable. That's why he's dependable. It's because he took the time to build something. He didn't rush in and say, hey, I got all this money. I got all this stuff. (laughs) I'm going to build this. And then like a week later, everything falls apart. No, it's all about growth, um, understanding, learning the lessons and building on something. And making it stronger each and every time you add on to it. And I get with this Knight of Pentacles being here, your money, your your money, 
and financial situation is slowly going to increase and slowly going to get better. Um, and I know some people want things quickly, but sometimes it has to be a little bit slower because the benefits that are to come are going to be so much better. And so then look at that, the Knight of Wands. This is a faster night. And so just because it's going to start off slow doesn't mean it's going to, you know, continue to be slow. If anything, they're saying your money situation is going to improve slowly, but in, in the end, everything is just going to be like boom, boom, bam. Like your just money is going to be coming out of nowhere. Um, and your blessings are just going to continue to come. So like be patient with that uh, process. And look at that eight of wands, which is literally about accelerated motion and like fast movement and just going after it. So the pay, the more patient you are, the more um, abundance you receive in a quickly um, in a quick, you know, how do I word this? You just receive these these things and these offerings quicker than you um, expect it. Right. Because you no longer stress about the timing of things. I know sometimes we get caught up with like, when is something going to happen? Um, what, how long do I have to wait? And it's like your, your spirit guides are saying within the next two years, things for you are going to progress. They're going to get better, but don't worry about the timing of it. Just enjoy the ride and know that spirit has, they got your back and you'll be fine because in the end, you're going to manifest and get everything, especially financially that you've been hoping for. So if you've been waiting to pay off your uh, student loans, or you've been waiting to pay off your credit cards and get out of debt, you're really going to manifest that it's going to take a little time, but once that like once you get to that first checkpoint, everything just moves very quickly. So it's like a test. So like make sure you're, you know, appreciative of what is happening and what is going on. That way, when you get to that final get to that checkpoint and it could be like, you know, a third of the way, it could honestly be like a quarter of the way. You don't know. But when you get there, that's when the universe is like, OK, this person has learned. So now we're going to speed up things so they can so they can actually enjoy it. OK. So I hope this resonated with those that selected this pile. Feel free to leave a comment below, thumbs up the video. I also recommend saving this video or like taking notes on this reading. That way you can kind of like see things, um, see how some of these things play out in your in your life within the next two years. That way, you know, you can be like, oh, that happened. Check that off. Or yeah, this is happening. Like you can kind of like keep track of everything. OK, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your love and support. And remember, blessings and abundance. This will be for those that selected the green door. So let's see how your life is going to look in the next two years. We're going to start off with the cards that have already pulled. And then towards the end, I'll get additional cards to see what other messages spirit might have for you. So we have number 48, Angel of Balance. Number 49, Angel of Love. Number 14, Caring Connections. Number 17, Hope, which is the star. Number four, which is the Emperor, Authority. Wow, you got so far all uh, major iconic cards. Um, number 18, which is the Moon, Shadow. And then finally, wow, you have all iconic cards, major iconic cards. Wow. Number 19, Light, which is the Sun. This is a great pile. I mean, the other piles were good too, but this. Honestly, this is phenomenal. So <laughs> get excited for your guides and for you picking this pile because it seems like it's going to be amazing. All right. Next two years, y'all, it is filled with so much light and so much abundance and prosperity. Um, oh, my goodness. I'm just I'm kind of speechless right now. I'm trying to get the words to get the reading going. OK, so with the angel of balance, you have been putting in the work for many, many years and finally you're pretty balanced, right? There are going to be times when we're not balanced and we have to, you know, restructure ourselves or, you know, meditate and get ourselves back together. But overall, you're going to be very balanced. And because of this balance, you're able to manifest so much. This is why you have these major arcana cards, why you have these relationships and connections going on, because you're so balanced. You're able to attract these things. With um, your finances, I get that you're going to receive a lot of money within the next two years. And that could be because that could be because um, you change positions and you got like promoted and they give you a bigger salary or um, you meet someone that just has like a great job opportunity for you and they want your expertise on it. And so they give you this bonus or they give you they pay you for your expertise. They pay you for your skills. They pay you for your art. They pay you for what you are good at. And that is something to be paid for what you're good at. Be paid for um, what you love doing. Right. I get that. Um, also, 
you are connecting more with your ancestors and your spirit guides. You're building these strong relationships with them, which is important because you can't expect the universe and your spirit guides and your ancestors to give you things if you don't have a relationship with them. Like that one that's draining. And two, it's just you're kind of using people when you don't actually have a relationship with someone and you just only get what they you get what they give you. And so I get that you are building these relationships with them and they're able to gift you so much more because they see the authenticity within your love for them and your communication with them. And that is something that they appreciate, that they love, and they're truly grateful for it. And you're also grateful for that, grateful for that as well, which is beautiful, which is very good to have these strong relationships with your ancestors and your spirit guides. I'm also getting romantically, you're going to have a beautiful um, relationship. I get that some of you might actually be married in the next two years, um, you know, regardless of what this time frame you might think of, like, oh, I want to be with a person for two to three years before I get engaged and blah, blah, blah. That might not be in the cards for you. It might literally be that you are married in two years because the connection is off the charts. It's insane. Um, it's very powerful. And, you know, when someone knows what they want, they go after it. They don't have to wait 10 years to figure it out. Um, that's for people who have like their balance and they're, they've done the healing work. They've done the work and they continue to do the work. You know, there are some people that take a long time to figure this out because they have to do so much work. And then by the time they get to the work and finish it um, or finish that part of it, then, you know, it could be too late or it could just be perfect timing for both people, both parties. But I get that the person that you're going to marry is someone um, of quality. They are your equal. They are someone that you will grow with and will learn from. And they're going to also learn from you and grow from you as well. I get that this will be your um, your match, right? Your divine counterpart. Or for those who have twins, this would be your twin. For those just like if you're not into the labels, it's just your soulmate. It's your person. Because <laughs> I know sometimes like the labels can be so confusing for people. This is just let's just say this person is your. I like the term divine counterpart because it to me it represents this person being a great match for you. And this is your match made in heaven kind of thing, right? But I get that this person is someone that helps you grow and you help them grow. And you two heal each other. Like you continue to heal each other because you both are about growth and about um, abundance and, and manifesting the better versions of yourself. So the fact that you have the, the sun here, which is the happiest card of the deck, literally says like the next two years are going to be like amazing, like incredibly amazing. And Oh my gosh, I just, I'm in love with this pile, y'all. Like, I don't even want to pull any more cards just because it's just so great. <laughs> and I mean, you've been doing the work. And as I say, you've been doing the work, you get the eight of pentacles. You see how focused she is, how driven she is to finish these pentacles, finish her work. You've been putting in the work. You've been um, working hard on yourself and your healing and your, um, your future career plans. Like, that is something that the universe has seen and they love that about you and they admire that and appreciate that you've been doing that because now you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You know, the five of pentacles. You may have come from relationships and situations where you felt like you weren't appreciated, you weren't loved, you weren't valued. And now you're going to be in connections with people that appreciate your work, appreciate your love. Appreciate the hard work um, that you contribute to yourself. And that is important. You want to be with someone and are surrounded by people that love you for who you are and, you know, appreciate your growth and represent um, that that energy as well. Because your your people that you surround yourself with mirror you and also they are a reflection of you. So when you're around people that are spiritually, you know, balanced and um, growing and healing and doing the things that they need to do that shows like, hey, this person right here, they are about their growth. They're about their success. They are evolving. We have the emperor once again. So like your emperor, your person. Um, ooh. And then you got the sun again and you got the six of wands. Y'all, I'm done. I'm done with this. Reading. <laughs> you got the sun twice. And you got the six of wands, which is rep literally representing victory and success. And the sun, once again, is the happiest card. Look, y'all, I got the, I'm going to be real with y'all. Don't tell the other pile. I got the best pile out of, out of the entire reading. <laughs> but um, every, there is so much victory and success here for you 
Like if you've been questioning and been wondering when is your time, your time is now. Your time is coming within these next two years. And it doesn't mean it's going to take two years for it to come. It means that from the day that you watch this reading up into two years, all of this stuff should have manifested for you. If you continue to be on the same track of growth, um, abundance, healing, and like all of that as you are now, then you're able to manifest all of this. So keep doing what you're doing and do more of it. Like keep keep going, keep pushing along um, to keep manifesting this. And I honestly want to say you are the type of people. See, y'all reading is a little bit longer now, too. Because it just has so much to say. You're the type of people that watch readings outside of love readings. Like not only do you watch love readings, but you watch these kind of readings. You watch videos and um, healing videos and readings. And that is essential because sometimes people think in order to manifest the love that they want to manifest, they got to watch all the love readings. And it's like, that's not always true. And let's say you are a person that do, you watch a lot, a lot of love readings, but there you do work out. You do work within yourself, though. You know, and I think that that is essential here. And that is why you're able to manifest all of these great things, because you have a, you know how to balance things out. Like, OK, I watched X, Y and Z tarot readings about love today or this week. So for the rest of the week, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to write more. I'm going to do work on my projects. I'm going to um, meditate. I'm going to work out like, you know how to balance things out. And the spirit is um, very happy for you to do that. You know, you don't. Put yourself in positions where you don't manifest the situations that you want because you actually are careful about what you invite into your space, into your home, into your um, into your mind. And that is powerful. And I think that you should be proud of yourself for doing something like that, because it takes strength to do that. It takes a lot of power, a lot of authority. And for you to take charge and be that emperor is essential here because, you know, Old thought patterns can come up again and scare us and get us back into the same energy we once were in before that we didn't want to be in. But you have overcome that. And I am proud of you all. Um, so that's just how we're going to end that reading. So congratulations on all the beautiful things that you're going to manifest in the next two years. Um, claim this reading. Claim it. It is yours. You can have it. It is yours. OK, I recommend saving this video or like taking notes on this, like maybe in your phone and then, you know, check it, check on this reading or, you know, your notes every like couple of months, every three months or so, or maybe every six months, whatever you feel comfortable doing and just see what you can check off of. Let's see what's manifesting. Right. Because I think this has so many great um, checkpoints that honestly a lot of people have been praying for it but i get that because you've done that work and you're doing the work and you're going to continue to do it you're able to manifest this in two years and that's a lot to manifest in two years so this this is y'all power y'all so get excited get ready i claim it for y'all i claim it for myself <laughs> um yeah okay so i hope those that watched this video enjoyed this reading i enjoyed it i'm smiling from ear to ear. I'm excited. I feel so much warm and love right now. Um, please leave a comment below. Thumbs up this video and check out other videos on my channel. And just remember that you are deserving of what you want. So manifest it. Okay. I wish you all the best. And I want you to know for always and forever, you are loved and you are loved. Okay. Blessings.